The freeze frame effect, that's really hard to say, is a super, super easy effect that you can do right in the edit page in DaVinci Resolve. And today I'm gonna show you how to do that effect and I'm gonna show you a couple of different things that you can do with those frozen frames. I think I'm saying that right. For now, let's just get into DaVinci Resolve. I've got a clip lined up here and ready to go. This is a clip that I snagged off of ArtGrid, which is where I get all of my stock footage from if you're interested in checking them out. They are linked below, but let's go ahead and play this clip. It's pretty simple, just a guy walking uh, in a park in New York, and that's it. It's very, very simple, very simple clip. So let's go back to the beginning here, and we're just gonna play through this clip and find the frame that we wanna freeze. So we're gonna play through here, and there's a point right about here where he's looking off into the distance at the city skyline. That's a nice, pretty frame. Let's go ahead and make sure our clip is selected. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go to change clip speed. We're gonna select freeze frame and we're gonna select change. And now what that did was it split our clip and everything before the split is our normal video. So if I play that back, it's just our normal video clip. But when we get over into our second clip, that is now just a freeze frame. And there's a lot that you can do with this in the edit page, especially within that change clip speed tool. But before I get into that, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, Puget Systems. Puget Systems builds custom PCs for video editors, photographers, engineers, and all sorts of other types of people. And not only are their PCs customized, they're optimized for exactly what you need. The whole process is pretty simple. Just hop on a call with Puget Systems. They'll ask you questions about what you need your computer for and your day-to-day -day workflow, and they'll design a PC that's customized for your exact needs. Puget Systems actually built my PC and I gotta tell you this thing is a total game changer. Render times are incredibly fast. There's almost no stability issues with any of the software that I use. This thing, it's just it's perfect. So if you're a video editor, photographer, or engineer, and you need a custom PC that's optimized for exactly what you do, head over to the link in the description and sign up for a free call with Puget Systems today. Thanks so much to Puget Systems for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the tutorial. So like I said, there's a lot that you can do with this freeze frame right here in the edit page. For example, let's say that I wanted to have this freeze frame go on for a little bit, and then I wanted to continue on with the video. What I can do is I can just cut here where I want that freeze frame to end. We'll just go ahead and delete that there. We actually don't need any of this audio. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually hold down Alt, and I'm gonna drag this clip, and I'm gonna put the end of this clip at the end of my freeze frame. I'm gonna drag it out till the end of the clip. I'm gonna cut this, get rid of the beginning part of the clip, and let's go ahead and drag that down. And now if we play that back, we've got our guy walking through the park. And then it's a freeze frame for a bit. And then it's gonna be right back to the video, not skipping a beat, no jumping frames. It's a, just a smooth, smooth transition back into our video. And you can work with these freeze frames just like you would any other video clip. So let's go ahead and bring our playhead over here. Here's what I wanna do. I'm going to drag this over here. I'm actually going to copy this freeze frame. I'm gonna make it significantly shorter. Let's butt this back up. And now I'm gonna put a dynamic zoom on each one of these freeze frames. So let's go ahead and do a dynamic zoom on this one. And by default, dynamic zoom actually goes from zoomed in to zoomed out. So I'm gonna swap that. And then I'm going to select my next freeze frame and I'm gonna hit dynamic zoom and I'm gonna keep it exactly the way it is. And now if we play that back, we're walking through the park. We've got our freeze frame, we've got a nice zoom in, and then quickly it's going to zoom out and go back to our video. Now granted, none of this is too fancy. Again, we're working in the edit page. If you do want something a little bit fancier, then Jamie Fan, another great DaVinci Resolve editor, has a tutorial on some pretty cool freeze frame effects in the Fusion page. But 
This is in the edit page. It's super quick, it's super easy, and you can do a lot with it. If you wanna know some more stuff you can do in the edit page, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.